Good morning guys, welcome to the second day of traveling. So it's not going to be as bad as it was yesterday because now we're just about to leave the hotel in New York and we're heading to the airport. We have a flight to Toronto which isn't long, about 45 minutes and then we have a little bit of a layover in Toronto and then about another 45 minute flight to Montreal. So it's not going to be too too bad today and then we get home about 3 in the afternoon. So. I uh, just want to show you guys the view again one more time before we leave because with the sun coming up this morning It's really quite nice. Nice dance, Ali. <laughs> like a, I look like a, like a gangster. You look comfy. What up? What up? Yo, welcome to <laughs> see Alex. Ready for the flight. Yeah. This is what we're leaving this morning. Pretty nice still. Looks different when all the lights are off, but it's still a gorgeous view as the sun comes up. I really, really nice. love or hate New York? I yeah, some people don't like the big city, but it's cool. I love it. It's I think it's nice. Touch the ceiling! <laughs> we made it to the airport. No problems this morning. No problem. Yesterday it took like an hour and 10 minutes to get from the airport to the hotel. This morning it took like 35 minutes, not even, to get to the uh, from the hotel to the airport. Way shorter. And then security was like empty. We're the only two people. It was us and one employee going through this morning. And now we're getting to the gate and it's empty. We're the only ones on the plane. So I think we're just really early, so we're just gonna chill and hang out. But it's better than being late and rushing. So this is a picture of me attempting a cartwheel and I somehow have one leg. <laughs> My other leg disappeared while I attempted a cartwheel. <laughs> I've never done gymnastics or anything like that, so I have no idea how to do a cartwheel, and I tried. <laughs> My body's like curved to the sun. <laughs> we left really early this morning. I forgot it was Saturday. I wish I had known it was Saturday. I wouldn't have left that early. Yeah. We got nervous because it was too so long yesterday, but then we forgot that it was Saturday morning and that there would be no one. So, oh well. Cool, our plane has Wi Fi. It's a tiny little Yeah, it's a little, little one. So we're just skip out the board right now. Gotta make sure we touch the outside like Alex always says. Right. Alex, go first. And my turn. Little, little. So this is what it looks like when you take a flight just hopping over to Toronto. guys made it safely to Toronto only one more flight left until we're home that very close sucked. that was a little bit bumpy that flight and at the beginning when we took off he circled around like three or four times I don't yeah. know why and I've never felt that this feeling before so I was kind of like anxious about it but the plane would like stop like you would feel you know when you're in a car and you feel a break like the plane would do that and then you would accelerate and I was like why does it keep stop like clearly it's not stopping everything bad was going on in my head and just to like relax and remind myself that like it's normal and dad was so cute he was like rubbing me and holding my hand I was sweating I was like <laughs> she gets a little nervous sometimes yeah so. I'm sure they know I'm very anxious when I fly but now we just got to go find our gate so and now. And change. Yeah, that's a really loud walkway. Let's look at the screen here. C414. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there. D24. All right. Perfect. So one way of definitely knowing when you're back in Canada is when you instantly go through security and there's a Tim Hortons. No airport outside of Canada would have a Tim Hortons immediately after security. They have her favorite perfume here. Well, no, this is the one on display. Oh. They might not have the actual bottle. Alex just got super lucky and found her favorite perfume. Because, okay, my favorite scent is being discontinued because every year a scent gets discontinued. And of course it's my favorite one because obviously it's not popular enough because it smells literally like a forest mixed with a boy, which who really wants to smell like that, but I love that scent so much. It's like their most popular candle, but for some reason the cologne doesn't ever get sold. 
but I went into every single store in like London, in uh, in LA. They're all sold out online. They're sold out. And then randomly in Toronto, she's like, "Oh, we have just a few bottles left." I'm like, "Oh, so I got it." <laughs> awesome. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, seriously. Considering they don't sell it anymore. I was like, "No, so upset." Well, actually, I got I got a travel size one in London, but it was like it's very small, and I'm already halfway through it. So. Last flight. Last flight. Last flight. We're so oh, I close thought you were still home. doing it. No, I just wanted you to dance and be a loser. Okay, literally, I wish I had a nose that was a little bit bigger here so that my glasses wouldn't always fall down my nose. Or just not have a greasy face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Kidding. We're so close. Almost home. Five minutes left. Yee. Looks a little bit different than Hawaii out there. <laughs> Just a little bit different. trip and a great vacation but it always feels nice when you get home. I'm so excited to see my dogs. That's like the one thing I always get excited for and to see also all the packages that came in for oh my God, you're gonna, I ordered so much stuff. You're gonna have so many packages at the door. It's been so long that like I don't even know what I've ordered anymore. <laughs> and have lots of cool things to open. I'm just excited to do laundry and get fresh clothes. It's such a weird thing to be excited for. Well I have I haven't had any so clean clothes. To, like, cool. But I've been wearing the same clothes for like almost two days now and it's annoying. Really? Well, because we were traveling, we were sitting in the plane, so I wasn't really changing. It hasn't really been two days, to be honest, though, because no. of the time difference. It's been like one day. But still, just gotta grab our bags now, and then we will be off. All right, what's up, guys? So we got picked up at the airport by my dad, and I just finished dropping Alex off and helped her unpack a little bit. She had a lot of her clothes and her shoes and stuff in my bag because we needed to make them equal weight. On the way there, my bag was too heavy, so we ended up having to switch things around, put a bunch of her shoes in my bag and stuff like that. Now I'm heading back to my house. I'm gonna go clean up. I'm gonna have to take a shower, do my laundry, unpack my clothes, get all that stuff done. I'm gonna have dinner with my parents because I haven't seen them in a long, long, long time so I'm gonna have dinner with them and then after that probably just hang out at my house for a little bit maybe play some ps4 something like that and then later tonight I'm going back to Alex's what's up guys there is no feeling to me that is as good as coming home after a long day of traveling and just being able to sit lie down and relax I mean I know you're sitting on the airplanes while you're traveling but it's just not the same it's not very comfortable and it just feels so good to get home and just relax and sit down and just chill so I was able to take a shower, I had some dinner, I showed my parents a bunch of the highlights from the trip, showed them parts of the video, they really enjoyed it, they thought it was super cool. And now I have my laundry basket over here filled, 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 so I'm gonna try to go get a jump on my laundry so I can get it started. And it's crazy because I was away from my coaching trip and then I went straight to Hawaii, so I haven't been home in like, I don't even know how long it's been. It's been like two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, so like, all my clothes are dirty. I have like almost nothing left to clean to wear. So when I took my shower, I had like not much left to wear. Just threw on some stuff. But now I gotta go get all my laundry done. So I have all my clothes ready for tomorrow and for the week because Monday morning I go back to work and I gotta have all my clothes ready. Gotta have stuff to wear. I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, laundry's all finished. I was playing some PS4 while I was waiting for the laundry to finish up in the dryer. I haven't played video games in a long time, so it's pretty cool. It's always fun to hop back on, even if it's just for like an hour, an hour and a half, it's still really fun to play. I don't play as much as I used to, so every chance I get to play video games, I always try to soak it up because I really, really enjoy playing video games. Now I'm just heading over to Alex's. Just gonna hang out for a bit. I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. We both are kind of hungry, so we might go get something to eat. I'm not too sure. Look who it is. Ah! <laughs> scared me doing my laundry. We gotta hang up some of this laundry here. It's wow. a nice nice thing about having the banister though is you can hang laundry on it. No. Perfect spot. We gotta hang everything up. It's all wet. It really is a perfect laundry hanging spot. Uh, good morning guys. I completely fell asleep last night and did not finish the vlog. I was so tired from the two days of traveling. Didn't sleep much because of the two plane rides and overnight in New York with the time change. Didn't sleep much and I was so tired that I just came over to Alex's. I helped her a bit with the laundry and then I just completely fell asleep. We We're, both passed out. We actually both fell asleep. Yeah, look at this guys. She was wearing like a brand new pink yeah, shirt. I got this pink shirt. And sh she didn't want to sleep in it, but we both just passed out. And it sort of like stained the sheet a little bit. So it's kind of <laughs> pink now. I don't know what to do. 
You'll have to wash it. But I did not get a chance to finish the vlog last night because we were just watching videos and we both fell asleep. All the lights were still on and everything. So I, I slept in, but I'm a little bit tired today. Just like, bleh, you can tell by my face is a little bit droopy, but that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We finally made it home after that long two days of traveling. Feels good to be home, but it's kind of cold out and I kind of miss the sun already. So for today's video, there's no challenges or anything. It's just gonna be a small little reminder to stay grateful, okay? For me, that's the most important thing to being happy in your life. Stay grateful and remember everything that you have and go out and find your passion and do stuff that you love. Right? Don't go chasing a life revolving around money and, and certain objects and certain things. Do what you love, be passionate at it, work hard at it, and the success will come. We're, we're trying to incorporate being grateful and also laughing. Finding the little moments throughout the day to laugh and to have a good time because those are two of the most important things towards being happy. I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the videos and you can be a part of this journey to happiness. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.